Let me just tell you, buddy boys, glowing up is not for the faint of heart. You may be wondering how I made my face look like this. Me too. So let's watch together. I look and feel like a crusty tater tot and not in the yummy way. It's glow up season, baby, and I think that it is time <laughs> for me to glow up because I'm sick of feeling like a potato chip. As always, I'm a man with a plan, a five day plan to be exact. Right now it's Monday morning. I am gonna be embarking on a five day glow up journey from now until the end of the day Friday. So join me fellow heathens as we glow the frick frack up. So every day this week, I'm gonna be eating only fruits and vegetables. I'm gonna be doing an apple cider vinegar cleanse every day after breakfast. I am gonna be drinking eight cups a day. I'm gonna be doing one hour of working out every day. <laughs> And finally, I'm gonna be using subliminals. And then every day of the week is gonna be a different theme for my glow up where I work on something specific. So I haven't gone to the grocery store to get all the fruits and vegetables yet. So all that I have is this can of yellow wax beans. So uh, welcome to breakfast. The funny thing is, this is actually super healthy and barely any calories, but it just feels like a special kind of disgusting to be eating beans for breakfast. So today's theme is hair. I hope that that was as cool as it felt. So the first step that I have to do is go take a shower. So that was just a deeply unsatisfying shower because I'm planning on waxing my legs later this week so I couldn't shave them. Bristle City, baby. So I don't want my hair to be like wet when I'm drying it. So I'm gonna go work out with my mom and then come back and do the snip snip. So I'm here doing Pilates with my mom. Ah! All right, so I am getting ready to do the hair cutty cut cut. I never brush my hair. Uh, so this is new. I'm just gonna do a nice little middle part here. It's close enough. So I like to cut my hair so that it has a little V in the back. V for vultures. I have my uh, craft scissors, which are a piece of trash, but it's okay because I'm a piece of trash too, so we get along fabulously. I'm just gonna cut it like right there. Just really get off the ends and get a very clear V going. Tilting down a tad, yes. Chomp. Chomp. Oh no! <gasps> Did you just see me cut my finger? Y'all, I am struggling. Okay, that looks pretty even, right? Does it? Does it? You just cut upwards into the hair. It makes it look like it's not freshly cut. Cool. All right, yeah, this looks good. It looks like a little limp mouse baby. So to be completely honest, I forgot to do my apple cider vinegar right after breakfast, uh, which Shouldn't be that much of an issue, hopefully. We'll see if I glow down because of this. So first I just put in like two tablespoons hot water and then a big squirt of lemon juice. And then I add about as much cayenne pepper as I can humanly handle. And then of course one cap full of apple cider vinegar. Any more than that and you'll probably hate your life. And then I brush my teeth right after to protect my tooth enamel. So it's nighttime and here's a little update on how eating only fruits and veg have been veg. It's been going fine. I'll show you guys my salsa that I'm obsessed with. That's basically what I've been eating all day ever since I went to the grocery store. Here is salsa dinner edition. So I'm now getting ready to deep condition my hair to hopefully add some moisture and also strength into it. We'll see. So I just rinsed my hair in the sink real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and take this bowl and mix in apple cider vinegar, also bee vomit, and finally the intestines of olives. And then I just rubbed that all over my hair and then squeezed out the excess because it was really drippy. If this is the most disgusting thing you've ever seen, try 
trust me, you're not alone. So now I'm just gonna vibe and let this work its magic on my hair. This is definitely burning my forehead. So it's been 50 minutes with the hair mask on. So I'm gonna go take a shower. The instructions that I found online said to rinse it with cold water and then just wash your hair as you normally would. So that's what I'm gonna do and we'll see how it looks after. We gotta talk about the celebrity in the room my hair. So as you can tell, I still look like a wet rat, but a squeaky clean one. So my hair definitely feels softer and it was very easy to brush. While I brush my teeth, I'll be listening to some subliminals to hopefully help myself further glow up. Somehow I gained two pounds over the course of today. So hopefully that will drop off tomorrow. We'll see what happens. All right, see you guys in the morning. Merry Tuesday day. Now, let me answer the question that we are all just dying to hear the answer to. How soft is this woman's hair? Decidedly softer. If it was like a two before, it's definitely a six now. Does my hair feel soft to you? No. Bet you can't guess what I'm gonna eat for breakfast. It's salsa. So today's theme is a mental and spiritual glow up day. But first I gotta do my apple cider vinegar cleanse. So I've come up with the <laughs> brilliant life-changing idea. To glow up just a little extra, I've decided to always put lemon in my water. This helps detoxify the body, so maybe my skin will look better. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is called scripting, where you write that you're grateful for something that you don't have yet, as if you already have it, which sounds a little bit wonky, but it helps you like have the energy of having the things that you already want. And I'm gonna be scripting for specific glow up things. And then I'm also gonna be scripting for things like personal development. I just finished my scripting. But I'm gonna be honest, I think that the eating only fruits and veg is catching up with me right now. I just feel very exhausted and like not like myself, just like bah! because it is, you know, mental health day, spiritual day. Um, I'm not looking to feel bad today, so what I'm gonna do <laughs> is take a nap. Good morning! I still feel tired and I still feel nauseous yet hungry. So that really did nothing. So I'm gonna eat some dried apricots. It's evening now. It is 8 p.m. And I actually feel quite a bit better um, just by like resting, vibing. Also, my dad was super nice and got me a can of Diet Coke and that has also helped me feel a lot better. So thank you, dad. <laughs> yeah, so I went ahead and wrote a little bit more in my journal and this time I did some entries on gratitude, like just things that I'm grateful for in my life right now to kind of shift my mindset, which I think also has put me into a better mood. So I am gonna be doing my hour long dance party of like really intense, sweaty kind of dance moves is what I'm gonna do because that will be like really great cardio for me and also really help me with my mental glow up day. Hey guys, it is 11 p.m. and I just wanted to be completely real with you. If anything, I feel like I've kind of glowed down today. My housing situation for college in the fall is a huge mess and so I've been spending like the last two hours just working on like making housing plans and my mental state is kind of bleh. Before I go to sleep I wanted to let you guys know some super exciting news. So when I weighed myself Sunday night before starting this journey I was 114 pounds and then last night I was 116 pounds but then when I weighed myself tonight I was 113 pounds, which means that I've lost three pounds over the past 24 hours and I've lost one pound since starting the journey total. So the last thing I'm gonna do before bed is just a little bit of crystal energy healing. I have a few pieces of crystal jewelry and I just like to place intentions on them. I have my salt lamp here for a little ambiance. 
and I feel the energy that I want to put into them. So since I use this one for grounding, I take a second to feel super grounded and just infuse the jewelry with that intention. Good night. Hello, it's Tuesday. No, if it's Wednesday. Let's refill that. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it out there. My complexion is looking fine. I'm feeling myself face-wise. But do you know where I'm not feeling myself? My freaking leg! It's so hairy and I hate it. I'm really angry! I just wanna shave my legs! But no, but no, I'm holding out for something better. I'm holding out for that waxity wax experience. So I'm gonna be doing a pedicure. I'm just gonna do like some little scrapey action on my feet to make them super soft. So first I stuck my feet in a little pool of warm water. I decided to pretend to be an Olive Garden waiter when they have the little cheese grater and they say, just say when. And then I did the same thing with something a little bit less cheese gratery. And then I got my feet all nice and slippery. And then I put them in my parakeet socks. Actually, I, I don't think that those are parakeets. What are those? And it's Thursday, but you didn't see that coming. Yesterday, after I did my whole pedicure thing, I got a massive headache and then I wasn't really able to focus on doing the rest of my glow up stuff that I had planned for that day. So I'm gonna be cramming a lot of glow up activities into today. We are gonna be glowing. My first step is gonna be driving over to Target and buying wax strips. My legs are finally gonna feel air again. And also self-tanner. All right, cuties, we are about to go for a drive, so buckle up. No, seriously, buckle up. I am the worst driver you've ever met. I'm here in the homeland, Target. These carts just look so depressed. They look like they need a hug. So I didn't actually film inside Target because what can I say? I'm a weak little punk. I just zipped in and zipped out real quick. Apparently this is like super good because the internet says that they're good. And then also I have the Neutrogena build a tan but then I read the back of this bottle in the store and it says that for like best results you should wait eight hours between coats but that's definitely not gonna happen because like I want to be fully tan by tomorrow. I made it back alive again which is shocking because the Macarena came on the radio and like ask yourself how often does Macarena come on the radio? I was just bopping. I mean it is a miracle that I didn't hit anybody. So it's time to get waxy. I feel like a crayon. 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 Cray crayon. This is so aesthetic. It's like a Tiffany's box up in here. This looks like a brochure. So there's an instruction sheet. And the one takeaway that I've had from this is do not ingest. I'm gonna have to keep that one in mind, but I may forget. So this smells like an amusement park. Okay. Why am I so hesitant to even... Okay. Oh, oh, I can feel the little hair on there. My mom is next to me though, so it's okay, but I'm still scared. Oh, oh, thanks, Mom. Ooh. Wow! You guys, that didn't even hurt that bad. And there are little hairs on this sheet. Ooh, ooh, ow, ee. Ah! 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 My mom is smiling. She's loving this. Okay, my initial excitement is now done because hair is, ju is just not really coming off. Ooh! Okay, they are burning now. It's like a raspberry field up in here. So that's it. <laughs> they don't look great. Out of 10, I mean, right now I'm gonna give them like a, a two. There are still little hairs. I'm here with my mom. Hello. We're doing Pilates. So I'm gonna make a little exfoliating scrub to sand off all of my issues. So I just mixed in some brown sugar, again, some bee balm, and then a little spoonful of coconut oil. Then I rubbed some on my lip. So now I am gonna take a shower and I am gonna finally shave my legs. And also I am going to exfoliate. I really wish that I could send a feeling to you through the screen right now. They're just so smooth. I don't know why I love smooth legs so much. I just feel ready to take on the world, you guys. All right, it is self-tan time. Why is it white? How's it supposed to tan me if it's white? It says to just apply it with your hands as you would a moisturizer, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I just finished putting the self-tan all over my body. And call me queen of the placebo, but I am already seeing effects. Do you see it or am I just crazy? Do you see it, mom? I do. She sees it! <laughs> As for 
food. I haven't really been having set meals. So it's 3 p.m. For breakfast, I ate a banana and then I'm eating these strawberries. It has been an hour. I definitely see a difference. Like look at the difference between the collarbone region and my face. I think I'm just gonna do one more layer. I am gonna be putting on this mask, which is a skin clearing mask. Slap this onto my face. Do -do -do. Oh, it's already starting to burn. It's dry. Oh my gosh, it hurts so much to smile. Ah! Just got it off with a little damp washcloth action. In case you were wondering how much my face burns, the answer is this much. So just to rehydrate everything, I'm gonna make a little moisturizing mask out of kitchen ingredients and then put that on my face for 20 minutes. It's time for a little plucky action on my eyebrows. So now I'm gonna be doing something really cute and quirky, which is removing any hair on my face with this little buzzy thing. Also, inside my nostril. So I just accidentally shaved off part of my hair and I'm not happy about this. I feel like making the inside of your nostrils bald is something that we all need to experience at least once, just like we all need to experience shaving all our hair off and just seeing how we feel. What if I shaved my entire head using this? I feel like that's a challenge for another time. Okay, I'm gonna breathe on your hand. You tell me if my nostril breath power is more forceful than usual. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Anyway, um, ignoring that, I am trying to decide what to wear tomorrow. I wanted to do a 2000s movie inspired dressing room montage, but it pretty much failed. Here's Cuddles modeling the top that I'm gonna wear tomorrow. Doesn't it look so good on him? It's Friday! It's my final glow up day. I'm so excited because I get to wear makeup today. I am hopefully gonna be using my makeup to clean up the disparity between my body and my face. So then I just touched my makeup brush to the camera and makeup appeared on my face. So uh, that's cool. Also a little weight update. I am now 111 pounds and I started this week at 114, which means that I've lost three pounds this week on the only fruit and veg diet. So I am feeling fierce. To curl your hair, just pretend that you're in a 1500s maypole celebration and you're good to go. Would you like regular fries or curly fries? <laughs> They're so bouncy, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna brush them out a little bit just with my hands to get it more natural. And then I'm gonna need to arrange the bangs. Listen, was cutting my bangs last December a mistake? Uh, uh, yes. I blinked and lashes appeared. Then I spun and my outfit changed. And then to top it all off, my earrings changed when I pulled on my earlobe. All right, here's the big reveal. What did I learn from this glow up week? Uh, I learned that g glowing up is good. And here's me acting as if I wanna steal your french fries. They say that when you recite the alphabet while twisting the stem of an apple, the letter that it lands on is the first initial of the person that you're gonna marry. Oh, she's shy today. Let me just very closely examine this succulent because that's totally natural. Yowza, if you haven't already been able to tell, I can spin. All right, bye cutie patooties. Y'all are so glowy inside, so stay golden. If you're a bird, I'm a bird.